Hey guys, it's Tony Ping. This is another um, tip video. Um, this is gonna I'm gonna give you three different money making methods that don't require um, any any skills really, other than maybe a little bit of combat. So um, this is what I I don't know why black screen's that. Um, but anyways, um, basically, also if you guys I'm using a Mac and I don't know if you can see this white line around my uh, my screen, but it's always there. And then if I use my arrow key, it just like I tapped it once. And it keeps spinning until I click off of the screen. And I gotta go back on. So if anyone knows what that is, let me know. I don't know what it is. I have another computer I play on, but this one's my laptop and it's a lot easier to use. Um, anyways, okay, so the first one is killing imps. So if you kill an imp, um, they have chances of dropping mind talismans, which are worth up to 4k. Um, sometimes people are worth paying more. Usually I sell them around 2k each. Um, and then, um, but the main thing they drop is imp beads. And if you don't know, imp catcher, see, I just got a white bead. Um, imp catcher um, quest takes four different colored beads red, white, yellow, and black. Um, so people usually buy those for 1k each or 500 GP each. So this is what I did right away when I figured it out um, that people were willing to buy these things because um, cause I could kill them. And I honestly trained from like um, all the way to like 25 attack and strength, just killing these guys. Because they're real easy to kill. I mean, you could probably just kick them, um, and then you get these beads. So I would like come down here. It's south of Ardung, and here's a here's a, here's a map. So right down here between the monastery and Tower of Life, all the way up to like right below the zoo. And the reason why you want to come here is because there's four to five that respawn. So there's a lot of different ones um, to kill. So you can just keep killing if you can find them. Um, it's the best spot to killing uh, for killing imps. But anyway, so you're getting their drops, so their their beads and their mind talismans, um, and then basically you're just gonna sell those players. Like I said, I I would post on the forums, and then um, and then find a, find a buyer. Um, so I would sell anywhere from the beads from like 500 GP to to 1k. Sometimes depending on what bead it is, like the white beads are usually rare for me, so I would sell those more. But for some reason, I got one of those in the first kill. Um, okay, so that one's the first method. Um, the second one, um, I actually made like 40k doing this. It takes a while, but it's, it's really easy, and you also train a little bit of combat. Um, the second one is if you come up to uh, the uh, Ardung um, town, town Square, I guess, or Town Middle Marketplace. Um, if you can see, this is RuneScape Winky. There's a Silk Saw. I'm walking to it right now. Uh, anyways. So if you come to the silk stall, you can sell silk to the guy for 600 GP. You can still silk from the stall if you have 20 thieving. But I don't have 20 thieving, but you can also, here's what you do. You come up here and you buy silk for, say, you know, 30 GP each, 40 GP each, 50 GP each, anything below 60. And then um, say you buy, like, 20 or, or 10. Let's just say you buy 10 um, silk for 40, uh, 40 GP each. Then you sell them to the guy for 60 GP each. You just made 200 GP. Um, so that's another easy way. If you, you have to come to a more populated world because there's not anyone really here doing that or selling them. Um, you just stand here saying you're buying silk. So um, that one's really easy, but I wouldn't recommend doing it because you don't train anything and it, it takes a while to make a uh, decent amount of money. Um, so that's that. The last thing I want to tell you, I'll just tell you guys here, is mind running. Um, so if you know what room crafting is, um, you can rune craft yourself and make money. But what I've been doing is finding people who um, can craft one rune essence for four mind runes, or uh, one rune essence for four or three air runes, or whatever. Um, something to multiply that. Um, basically, you just take your rune essence and then you run all the way to the altar. And uh, you don't. Sometimes you don't have to go in. You just bring them to the guy and um, whoever it is that you're uh, running for, and he will craft say like I would do mind runes so I would do I would you know, put all this stuff away um, so I would take out 27 rune essence because he he needs one slot for the uh, the mind talisman um, so 27 and then I would give him to the guy and then he would make it into a uh, hundred and um, eight mind runes or uh, or whatever it is that you're running for so uh, if you guys don't know how to find um, Someone who's mind running, just go to the forms, the old school forms on the RuneScape website, um, and then just um, look for um, people posting looking for um, uh, rune runners. It's really easy to find. There's a lot of people doing it, so it's really easy. Um, so basically, I would buy, 
I bought all my rune essence for 10 GP each. Um, mine rune sell for like anywhere from 10 GP to 15 GP each. So if I made um, 100, 100 mine runes, or no, if I if I bought 1k uh, rune essence for 10k, then I could turn around once I finish running them all, I could turn around and sell them for uh, anywhere from 40k um, to 45k for uh, 4k of uh, mine runes. So that one is probably the best money making method that I that I like doing um, but I've actually been using all my mind runes because I've been training so my mage which I got um, oh, it's three mage. so anyways those are three different um, basic money-making tips I hope those help they're real simple uh, I'll come out with some more complex ones as we go but I know a lot of you are starting off and so you need some simple ones and those are it so thanks for watching um, remember to comment rate and subscribe and leave any questions if you have any or any video suggestions. Thanks for watching, guys.